welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Today's video, I just thought I would welcome you into my kitchen. Today's gonna be a meal prep video for anybody else wanting a cheap, easy, and quick dinner, lunch, and breakfast, or breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipe that's quick, easy. Everything was from Walmart, it was super cheap, and it's supposed to be really good for you. I was watching this girl on TikTok and she was sharing this recipe and like what she does, the meal prep. So I just thought I would try it out for this week. I like to mix up my meals. I like to try out different people's meals or ideas that are cheap, easy, and quick for during the week. So anybody else that's looking to meal prep, you could try this out and I'll, I'll let you know maybe in a day or two when I do try all the meals if they're good or not, but it's supposed to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like three different meals that you can eat throughout the day. Actually, I'll give the girl credit. I'll put like either her video on the screen, either before this right here or whatever, I'll give her credit. But I was watching a TikTok video and this girl, um, I think she's a nurse, but she did a meal prep and just shared like what she made. Follow me along and thank you so much for watching. Oh, you okay. As and laws, as and laws, it's all the same. As and laws, as and laws, keep all your games. As and laws, as and laws, it's all the same. As and laws, as and laws. All right. Going in order, we got, this is actually the dinner and then lunch breakfast. So I have it in order of what the ingredients are. Um, the first thing is the breakfast is a, these are called turkey sausage bowls and it's just egg whites. You can use just regular eggs. Just put eggs in it, turkey sausage from Walmart. Hopefully it'll focus. I got two of them. And then also some shredded hash browns from Walmart. So that's the turkey sausage bowls for breakfast. For lunch, it is chicken and steak fajitas. So I have chicken and steak I bought. She only did chicken, but I'm gonna mix them. Chicken and steak. She bought a huge thing of onions and peppers. I couldn't find that anywhere. I went to Publix and Walmart and I couldn't find the um, onion and pepper mix. So I only got the pepper mix from Publix. So I'm using that. And then I have the tortillas in the, I'll show you these tortillas. I had to improvise because the store that I went to, Walmart, they didn't have everything that she showed in her video. So I had to get something else. So I have those. And then for dinner, she had, dinner was chicken sausage grain bowl. So for the dinner over here, sorry my messy area, dinner she had organic quinoa and brown rice with garlic, a whole bunch of rice. I got four packs. She had chicken apple smoked sausage and this was all at Walmart. She got, butternut squash and then also sweet potatoes and i got two bags of each and then a thing of broccoli and i do want to share in a lot of my videos anything to do with food i like to share this app um, i'm not sponsored or anything but i just came across it because of a tiktoker and i'm absolutely obsessed i'm going to share it in like every video in case you haven't seen my other videos but this app is called Yuka. It's free to download and all you have to do is scan the bar barcode on any item that's food or cosmetics or like anything except for supplements you can't scan. Supplements and vitamins and like protein you can't scan but everything else like cosmetics, shampoo, everything you can think of, juices you can scan and it'll show you if it's good for you, what's in it, the ingredients. It is the most life changing app. I'm absolutely obsessed. As soon as I downloaded this, I shared it with my sisters. We all went through like our pantries, like got rid of stuff that we thought was good for us. And it's really like really, really bad. It's just full of a lot of processed stuff, but it's cool because it doesn't just tell you it's bad for you. It shows, it lists the ingredients. I'll show you. 
So I downloaded it. You just have to put on the scan option and then I'll scan these sweet potatoes that are from Walmart. And then all you have to do is scan the barcode underneath. I'll show you. Barcode underneath. And it says sweet potatoes. They are, here, let me see if it'll focus. 90 out of 100. That's how good they are for you. And then this part, you can select it and it'll break down like the ingredients, everything that's in it, like on a scale, how good it is for you, just literally everything. And then you can keep going. If it is a bad product, if it's bad, which one of my products are, and I'm shocked that it's just egg whites, but these egg whites surprisingly are not good for you. They probably have a lot of processed stuff in them, but I'm gonna scan it. Hang on. Wait, where is the barcode? Where'd it go? Oh, right there. Okay. So these real egg product is actually a 49 out of 100, but what you can do is select it, scroll all the way down, and it can give you options underneath it that are better for you. Like you just keep scrolling and it gives you so many more options that are healthier versions of that product. So I thought it was so neat, like any snacks that you want that you thought were good for you and they're actually really like they just have a lot of processed stuff in them, you can just scroll down and they give you options for healthier products. Like I absolutely love this app and I just thought that I would share because I'm, it's like life changing. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I'm not sponsored. It's a free app, so why not share the wealth? Like this thing is so awesome, I absolutely love it. I was scanning all my products when I was in Walmart and I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna get that, I'll get this, I'll get that, but I'm just obsessed with it, it's so cool. But enough blabbing. I'm going to start with breakfast first. So the breakfast, she put the egg whites in one of the, I've got out all my stuff. She cooked some of this, the turkey sausage. I'm just gonna put everything in pans and wash as I go. There you go. Sorry the mess, please ignore. Okay, so we got some eggs. We need hash browns in the back. Now that breakfast is done, now that it's lunch, I have the fajita mix I'm gonna heat up, the chicken and steak, and then just the onion, or the pepper and onion, but I don't have onion mix. In the meantime, I was folding tortillas and putting them in the bins that they're supposed to go in. little bit sorry the lines in my camera I dropped it a while ago I'll wait for them to go away um sorry about the pauses or the weird cuts in between um meals I had to go for a walk really quick with my dogs before I go to bed so I thought I'd finish up the dinner but I wanted to walk them first the dinner portion of this meal prep is this Seeds of change, organic quinoa and brown rice with garlic. I cannot wait to try these, they sound amazing. I bought a whole bunch of them. Absolutely not. Are you kidding, did you see that? She is a terror. But I got um, 
the rice, bag of broccoli, and then I got two bags each of the butternut squash and the sweet potatoes. And I got two things of these. Really? Really? No, you get down right now. You're being a bad girl. Okay, ignore the beef. I made burritos for tonight because I'm starving. But you have to put the broccoli, butternut squash, and sweet potatoes on two pans. So I got that there. And then you put these in the oven at 450 for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do that now. I forgot, sorry I look like crap. I've been cleaning out my closet all day. I recorded some of that. That was like a 10 hour process and organized that. I also went for a walk with the dogs. I've been cleaning the house, so don't mind my appearance, but this is meal prep time. These I'm gonna pop in the oven, and or the microwave and just cook them really quick while the rice is in the microwave. I have to cut this up and put it in the pan. Put a little bit of water at the bottom, let it simmer for six minutes, and then it's good to go. Drain the water, and you got sausage. So I'll come back to that in six minutes. This is what it's looking like so far. I have to cut up the other thing, but I thought I'd do one at a time. There you go. I can't wait for these. I did want to throw in really quick for the meal prep ideas. I put in some peanuts, some um, pistachios that I got from Dollar or, uh, Walmart and the walnuts. I just put in this basket a whole bunch of different like variety of things. Um, I got veggie straws, these little puffs that are really good, popcorn. I mixed the peanuts the peanut mix and the pistachios. So I'm probably gonna add yogurt and some other things on the side as well for my day. But I just thought I'd give you some ideas. But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video.